Hello, uh, welcome to Ponder, darling, my busted heart. I am not a professional vlogger. I am not trying to get popular or um, become a YouTube sensation. I am just trying to process. Um, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yesterday, a friend of mine messaged me and she was like, I noticed that you had some videos on there and does that make you feel better and I'm gonna be honest it really sounded like she was saying do you realize what an idiot you look like and I responded yes actually it does make me feel better and also yes I do know what an idiot I look like so, um, yeah, I look like a total idiot. And I got this right here. Yep. A band-aid on my face because I fell and hurt my chin because I am not eating. I am really dizzy. I'm not, I just, it's not on purpose. Um, I just can't eat. I'm just really distressed. And um, probably you can see that I do have a little bit of, of store I, ha I have some I have some um, fat stores so to me it's not an urgent thing if I was this big like Jefferson I would be worried but I'm not really that worried um, so what I wanted to talk about today is um, the fact that I, I've been really trying to figure out like how this could possibly happen. How could I end up in another relationship with somebody who would not treat me with kindness? And um, I realized that Jefferson is not at all um, the one who hurt me the most he did not break my heart he's not the first person he um, certainly is not the worst as a matter of fact my son's father is literally a psychopath and he is the only person I have ever known in my life who hurts me for fun now um, Unfortunately, in this country, the laws are not set up to um, make any kind of uh, distinction between a psychopathic father and a regular father. So there's no way um, that I could uh, get him out of my life and there's no way that I could um, find a way to completely protect myself. From him now he okay that's the end of that um, he has learned how to operate within the parameters so that I can't even you know get some kind of restraining order or anything but he's still mean to me on a regular basis and he still hurts me for fun although I will say about myself that it has far less impact on me because I just kind of ignore him but certainly it would be so much better if he was just gone um, but he is my son's father so there he is all the time now um, in trying to figure out how I got to this place again, uh, one of the things I realized was that anybody is going to be better than a psychopath. Anybody. So when Jeff came along and he never called me names and he never um, put me down, I was thrilled. I was smitten. I was so excited 
to find somebody who would not be mean to me. So when Jefferson became emotionally unavailable, or not, I realized he was emotionally unavailable. I think he always was, but I didn't really realize it until it was too late. I could not accept it. I couldn't, I couldn't acknowledge it because I just felt like he was so awesome because he was so much better than the psychopath. So, um, now what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to give myself points for at least not hooking up with another psychopath. And I know that sounds really funny, but we gotta, we gotta celebrate even the little, the little steps we take. I mean, I work really hard on myself. I go to therapy. I, um, I do self-help. I go to, I go to support groups. I am very, very conscious about taking steps to better myself and be more emotionally and mentally healthy. So, um, I was very disturbed that I found myself back in this really dysfunctional relationship. Like again, here I am in a dysfunctional relationship when what I really was trying to do was not be in another dysfunctional relationship. So, um, maybe, maybe this is a little step up <laughs> and, um, maybe, maybe after all I am growing and getting a little bit better over time with all the work. I, I want to believe that because otherwise it's just this endless cycle, like a merry-go-round that just goes around and around and never stops. And I don't want to be on that ride anymore. <laughs> I just want to um, live a much more peaceful and happy life full of love. So that's what I got today. Thanks for watching.